was a tremendous national repentance in Angola we are going to have a special day to cover it but you can just run through a bit Kulikuwapo na siku speciali kabisa ya toba ya kitaifa kule Angola and at that service they all wore the sackcloth na katika hiyo ibada wote walivaa mavazi ya gunia even the vice president was there hata naibu wa rais alikuwa pale and they wore the sackcloth na wote wakavaa mavazi ya gunia the very shocking very precious country taifa la kushangaza kabisa taifa la dhamana sana sana so that makes angola a very stunning nation hiyo yafanya angola kuwa taifa la ajabu sana sana a very sana. special nation before the lord taifa speciali kabisa mbele za bwana because this is what kenya has been waiting for for so long they have not yet got it kwa sababu hiki ndicho kenya wamekoa kingojea kwa muda mrefu kabisa bado hawajaipata that everybody may wear the sackcloth ya kwamba kila mtu apate kuvaa mavazi ya gunia and go before the lord na kwenda mbele za bwana and cry out to the lord lord remember us na kumlilia bwana bwana tukumbuke look how we are disintegrated as a country angalia jinsi ambavyo tumetawanyika kabisa kama taifa lord remember us bwana tukumbuke look at how much we are in trouble tazama jinsi ambavyo tuko katika shida look at how we are fighting one another tazama jinsi ambavyo tunapigana sisi kwa sisi lord heal us bwana tuponye this is what kenya has been waiting for hii ndio ambayo kenya wamekoa kingojea and many ambassadors diplomats also came wearing the sack na mabalozi wengi kabisa na watu mashuhuri wengi walikuja wakiwa wamevalia mavazi ya gunia and more than 85 senior pastors from many denominations wearing sackcloth na zaidi ya wachungaji wa ngazi ya juu kabisa 88 walikuja wakiwa wamevalia ya mavazi ya gunia hii ya ajabu kabisa Angola has now taken lead Angola sasa wamechukua uongozi in front of all the nations of the earth Mbele za mataifa yote ya dunia This is very powerful this is awesome glory Hii ni nguvu kabisa huu ni utukufu wa kupendeza This is the way to prepare prepare for the coming of the messiah Hivi ndivyo nje ya kujiandaa kwa ajili ya kuja kwa masia This is the way to open the door for revival to enter the land Hii ndio nje ya kufungua mlango kwa ajili ya uvuvio kuingia katika taifa And you can see the visitation of the cloud of God they put it right there They told them because the cloud has come we must repent Na mnaweza kuona kwamba mtembelee wa wingu la Bwana waliweka moja kwa moja pale wakawaambia kwamba kwa sababu wingu la Mungu Baba amekuja ni lazima tutubu Senior Archbishop Trinidad in charge of Angola. Askofu mkuu Trinidad ambaye anasimamia Angola. My own son there. Mwanangu mwenyewe pale. Together with my son Deputy Archbishop Lutendo and Dr. Pedro two of them. Pamoja na mwanangu naibu askofu mkuu Lutendo na Dr. Pedro wawili hao. Very very powerful. Ya nguvu sana kabisa. It's a very mighty thing for a country to repent. Ni jambo la nguvu kabisa kwa taifa kutubu. Ya nguvu sana kabisa. It's an awesome thing for the country to repent a country to wear the sackcloth and go and rend their hearts before Yahweh Ni jambo la kupendeza kabisa kwa taifa kutubu kuvaa mavazi ya gunue halafu kwenda mbele za Bwana na kurarua mioyo zao You may not understand the depth of the spiritual privilege and meaning of what you are seeing on the screen right now Hup. you may not understand it now but wait and see what will happen in that land huenda msielewe ule umuhimu mkuu kabisa wa kiroho ya kile ambacho mnaona katika runinga zenu lakini ninyi ngojeni tumtaona the vice president of the ruling party is the woman that is wearing the sackcloth my daughter there 